I wasn't talking about Teen Wolf, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey, is this G.I. Joe Hotline? Yeah, I better shower, though, before I get ringworm, man. I just got out of the gym. <laughs> this is a place where you, a racer, mechanic, rookie, or RC racing fan can call up and speak your mind, express your thoughts, ask questions, or just get some shit off your chest. I'm looking at the Cadillac of anal beads next to my truck, and I'm like, this just looks bad. We may not agree with you. You're doing the whole disclaimer thing wrong. But we will listen. Hey, Wally, that, that's one pretty thick hat you got. You got to hook a brother up in Canada. Join your host, Lefty the Great, and co-host, Wally Bills. Hit us up on the NNRC hotline. 1-424-414-6672. And let's talk RC. Nitro is the glory. Buddy Buggy pays the bills! Woo! Yes, 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 indeed. Yes, indeed. What's up, everybody? Nitro is the glory, but e buggy pays the bills. Not too much e buggy bills getting paid this weekend, but we'll talk about that a little bit. Um, <laughs> Welcome to the NNRC Hotline. We haven't done one of these for a while now. Hey, what's up, everybody in the YouTube chat? We're gonna get, we're gonna get to you guys. Please share this. Uh, share this. Let's get this going. Uh, thank you, Dakri man, for the for the uh, super chat, man. He always gives a super chat. I don't know who this guy is. I need to figure out who he is. Um, what's up, everybody? Uh, we got Wally over here, my co-host. He's in his new new uh, building. It's actually mm -hmm. really got really good internet. Uh, I know. Uh, his, yes. <laughs> And um, so my internet's going to be probably bad today because it's already been acting up. And we have my buddy who RC Kevin up there. It looks like it looks like it's winter time in Quebec. The way you huddled in there, man. Only a little corner. I don't know. I'm just uh, in my studio downstairs. Yes, it's a complete mayhem right now behind me because I mm -hmm. need uh, to finish uh, building my cars. But uh, that's pretty much it. Yes, and uh, thank you to everybody that's joining us, man. Um, shout out to all the NNRC squad around the world. Uh, thank you guys for the support. I know we haven't done this for a while. Uh, shout out to the patrons of the NNRC squad. I greatly appreciate you guys' support. All of this is possible. Thank you to you two as well for coming on and being a part of this. Uh, of I can't do it without you guys either. Uh, and before we go on any further, I want to shout out and say thank you to all the awesome sponsors. They are Mayako. Don't worry, it isn't going anywhere. I guess August is the date. Uh, Beach RC, TNR Fuels, High Tech RC, Sun City RC Raceway, Lugs Racing Tires, Manscaped.com, Papa Willie's Traction Tonic, Racecraft USA, House of RC, RCGP, of course, Wally Builds, and uh, JQ Threads. And uh, hey, we got to say shout out, uh, first off, on a somber note, uh, I know I've said it already, but uh, rest in peace to Rex Welch. Uh, he passed away a few weeks ago. Uh, a stalwart uh rw mods on youtube great engine guy got to talk to him a little bit uh in the time he listened to the podcast quite a lot up in the minnesota era area uh so con condolences to his family uh, uh, i've said this already but it just i saw a video the other day it was very touching and um condolences to the welch family and condolences to uh mr james little and his family which is uh a gentleman that i met many 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 back in 2004 my first trip my first trip to a race a real race and um he was uh very nice to us he had a little shop and he had his uh his trailer there and he used to go in there and buy stuff and every time he went and bought something from him he would you know just sit off and talk to you for 10 15 minutes and you know very nice man he's he was a stalwart in the southeast racing community in the carolinas and uh uh, our condolences go to him and his family. So, all right, guys. Uh, right, like, what's up to everybody in the what's up chat? Um, I'm sorry, in the chat. Uh, Nitro Freak, Ryan. What's it's Kyle? What's up, Kyle? Jeff Reichhardt, Reich, Reich Helt, Sorry, Michael Servo, this. Servo. <laughs> Michael. That's not how I say it, right? I, it, it looks like Servo. Uh, Nitro Freak. Fair. What's up, dude? Uh, oh. Guy named Michael Servo. Nope. I yeah, I got it. Name. Uh, Francais, what's up, Francis? How you guys doing? Uh, how's Yannick? Uh, Salty Joe in the house. 
Son Anderson and Mark Lemieux. Lemieux, sorry, I butchered that uh, last name. Mark Andre Lemieux. Yes, we got Kyle. Kyle, <laughs> I had fun with Kyle at the at the Nationals this year. He was he was he was pitting right in front of me with Beach RC, and uh, we got to chat. What's up, D Seven? He got to meet him at uh, the Nationals. So please share this. We only got thirty six people in there. We gotta get fifty uh, people in there. It does sound like Servo. He says. Yeah. Okay. Good. 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 You, you got that one right. Freak? Good. All right. Um, Wally, we we haven't really linked up for a minute. I've been, I was traveling. But everybody knows that. What's up, Ricardo? How you doing? X Works, X Works, Mexico. How you doing, uh, Kevin? You guys have been busy up in Quebec, but I think we're just gonna do a quick catch up on what you guys. Have been... Oh, oh, ready. and we're down. Picture perfect, right there. Yeah. So I think we're gonna have. <laughs> uh, we're gonna need to give your uh, cell phone number for the call-ins, uh, Nick. Oh, my. Oh, I guess we can do that if we have to. I'm back. Oh, we're oh. back. Is he? There we go. Kinda. All right. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. I'm having some issues with my internet. Standard. Uh, you sure? I'm. I'm in her. I, I count. Was out. <laughs> Who was oh. out? It was you me. Were. Oh yeah. Okay. You are. All right. <laughs> Sorry. My, I don't know what's going on with my internet. It's been fine all day, and now it's acting up every time. So, all right, let's start off with you, Wally. What have you been up to? You've moved into your new uh, business, your new space there. It's pretty big. You ain't got no cool banners and stuff up yet, but uh, let's give us a little rundown of what's going on with you in your new shop. But he's got yeah. good internet. I, I do have good internet. I have that on. I have that on lock. Uh, yeah, I've just been moving in the shop, getting everything dialed in. Uh, we're getting ready to open in August, uh, hopefully the 1st of August. Uh, but yeah, just wrenching, go moving along and doing some racing, actually racing a little bit more than usual, uh, more 10 scale, but, uh, just because it's really close. And then, uh, I think next month is going to be a bit more busy. Uh, it's going to be due. I think there's, I think it's six weekends in a row, uh, starting channel islands on the 31st and then going to JBRL, then to the Cheyenne showdown. And then after that, there's a race for Cody Thompson at his race for his bachelor party, which is more for fun, but mm -hmm. still have to have something to bring there. And then uh, after that, there's the Golden State Shootout, which is at Camarillo. And then following that is, I believe, JBRL again. Oh, no, wow. no, no. It, it, no, it's Surf City. Surf City comes up after that. So it's going to be a long six weeks, but it's going to be pretty fun. Nice. You are busy. You um real quick, I see OCRC is banging right now. Everybody's down there. Yeah, dudes down there racing some some two wheel drive. You got Spring yep. Radical down there. You got Smoker sending me videos of him doing ridiculous things as well. And uh, that uh, yeah. that Wally whip was unbelievable. Yeah. You guys, <laughs> it it's like old school ten scale stuff. Guys down there on a Wednesday night having fun and just and racing what's it looks like it's some good turnouts or just people that i haven't seen there before there yeah i mean the wednesday crowd's been pretty good uh friday's been pretty solid but um yeah the wednesday wednesdays have some pretty big turnouts i think maybe three weeks ago there was a hundred and 105 entries on a wednesday night really wow which was a little hectic but we all got out of there pretty decent how many calls how many mains do you guys do how's it work we just do uh, two qualify, two four minute qualifiers, and a seven minute main. Okay. I think I think the night of the 110, we only did uh, five minute mains, just so we're not there till one in the morning. So yeah, thanks. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's not bad at all. It's good to see. I guess also it's AC. There are people. It's too hot outside. People's like, oh, but it's so convenient. Like if you ever been to OCRC, you can just. It, it's probably one of the most convenient places to go race at. Like especially if you live in the area. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, D D seventy racing. I'll uh, I'll check that once we're done here. All right. Yeah. I I'm I'm bad with Instagram messages as well. Uh, Kevin, you guys are racing in Quebec again. Uh, the Quebec Classic is a go. It seems like, and you did some eight scale racing there and ten scale racing, I believe. Yeah, we're uh, we're pretty busy. Uh, finally, COVID's uh, easing up uh, for us in Canada. So uh, hopefully the border opens up uh, end of July. So we will we'll be able to ha host a couple of uh, Americans to the Quebec Classic. Um, we did uh, one indoor 10 scale race 
early June. Then we did the Canadian Outdoor J Concept uh, Championships at Bego, three day race. That was pretty hectic. Uh, six days later, we were back out back out there for another club race with 100 entries so that was uh, again very busy and uh, then club race uh, this weekend so uh, should uh, should be pretty fun the last two races at uh, Begos, we were weren't very lucky we uh, had to deal with rain and all that stuff so it makes the schedule uh, pretty pretty hectic everything's bunched up but uh, it's really good to be back out there uh, racing <clears throat> then on july 31st and august first there's the uh Otterville race the Otterville Nitro Blast, I believe, mm -hmm. uh, at uh, John's track. Then uh, back at the Tenskel track on uh, August 7th for a race. Then two weeks off. Then uh, the Quebec Classic, which uh, should be uh, a pretty good blast. Yeah. You guys got, you are cramming a lot of racing in a very short time. Well, we got to we do what we can with the the weather we have. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. When when we see all you guys out there having fun uh, early April, we still have snow uh snow <laughs> out, so it's uh yeah, that's it's a crazy. bit complicated. Yeah. Crazy, crazy. Um I I look the Quebec Classic. That is definitely a race I would love to attend at one point. Um uh, you should you got, we the RC sign up uh, opened uh, last week. We're already at uh, 180 entries, I believe. So uh, hopefully uh, we uh, blast uh, over 350. Should be uh, pretty amazing. Sweet. Uh, what's up, Matthew? How you guys doing? Uh, go at getting ready for the dirt. Yeah. Um, Joe is opening up a track. We're gonna talk about that. Mm -hmm. Look, guys, we're gonna talk about the Enats, and we're gonna talk about a lot of things. Are we're just catching up? It's a busy show. Ah, we're just yep. catching up, finding out what's going on. Uh, we have a fun new segment we're going to try out too. And hopefully we can take some phone calls. It depends on my internet. If not, we'll do some some questions there. And if you guys feeling generous, hit that super chat button. Um, I said it. There we go. Hit there that go. super chat button. Um, I ju just one more thing. Wally, do you just want to move your camera around? Show us your nice yeah, uh, do that. little uh, yeah, we can, uh, area. Yeah, we can do a little rundown real quick. That's very pro, very, very nice. So hopefully the viewers so, can see that... Uh, you all of this area setup. is where all the the wrenching is happening uh it's kind of behind the wall I'm trying to get used to the camera here and then basically on the other side of that wall there's the front counter and there's a little bit of room for like a lobby um i'm gonna have a bunch of like motocross jerseys for people that are the riders that have uh that i built cars for hung up there mm -hmm. uh, i got my first one first one came in today from christian craig so Thanks to him for uh, getting the ball rolling. Pretty pumped on that. Nice. But uh, it's going to be pretty cool. I think once it's all done and ready to go, we're going to have some graphics on the front windows and maybe some graphics on the walls. And then uh, after that, we're going to we're gonna bring out some of our own parts. We're going to bring back some of the carbon fiber stuff that we had before and get back to that. Nice. Sweet. Mm -hmm. um, something, and you're building some technos there too, Wally. In, you, yeah, you're enjoying yeah. them. You're enjoying them. Yeah, techno techno cars go together pretty well. Yeah, yeah, I was I wasn't really surprised, but it was just like, wow, he's the finish on these are pretty awesome. Yeah, you sent me a message and was like, it's it's he, the quality is insane, and I was like, yeah, I, I've heard too. And um, <laughs> I was like, it really must be impressive if you sent me a message like that. Um, all right, if, as for me, I'm kind of I'm kind of settled back into my daily routine here of uh of you know doing the podcast doing other type of stuff uh, i'm doing some heavy research into raw right now uh i have some questions and i have sources that are that that are leaking me stuff right now so i'm i'm on a mission to fix raw i wish i could have been at the enats this week i think it would have been great like i said we're going to talk about that um i just wanted to say something real quick i probably said it already but i i tell you what getting back to america getting back to the races and just being around the people uh it's something that i i absolutely in missed so much and even though at this race i didn't get to see i was busy so i didn't get to socialize as much as i wanted to and you know um, like at this race you had to be gone like you know at eight o'clock you, or you things close you had to go get something to eat and you know get back and get ready and get settled so i didn't get to socialize as much and obviously i'm not drinking so i wasn't going around and drinking with people <laughs> even though everybody i mean it was so incredible the love and people just hey we got a modello for you and i was like oh these like they they really do want, like listen and listen to what we guys are doing here and 
that's kind of what I really, uh, I really got back is that we have a voice right now in in, in RC with this podcast and what what all we're doing because you're doing your your stuff too, Kevin and Wally. You're you're, you're pretty well known. Uh, so uh, now we need to try and fix Roar, and I think we need to uh, like this is the thing we need to continue to hold their feet to the fire uh about what what's going on like and, and whatnot uh and my, and my thing is nothing to do with anything to do with fuel fuel tanks my thing is to see is what i observed in my time at the nationals and because i could see everything right from where i was i saw everything and i watched these raw guys well not raw and that's one guy in particular that was i think completely clueless and um this guy's in charge of if too so we're in trouble <laughs> all right enough <laughs> about that um all right so let's go let's go let's go let's go you know what uh wally you are building something i i i took note of you are going to build a sixth scale u4 out of a losi bahare this is and i told you before we come in here i think this is something that you can specialize into one-off builds or like stuff like this i think you're good at stuff like this and uh, i think this is going to open up doors for you yeah i think it'll be uh, kind of using it as an entrance into like the RTR kind of bashing market because uh, we do a lot of race stuff and that's kind of always what we have done. Mm-hmm. And I mean, the racing stuff, like we always say, is like maybe 1% of the RC world. Mm-hmm. So um, down the street from where the shop is, there's actually a huge group of guys. It's probably 150, 180 guys. It's pretty crazy, honestly. Like it's mm-hmm. pretty nuts. They meet at like the end of this business cul de sac and there's like a. They set up like a drag strip, uh, yeah. an on like an on road track, and then uh, they're at the end of the cul de sac. There's like a little bit of a gate, and then there's this dirt lot underneath, like the where all the freeways kind of cross over. And they're just out there bashing fifth scales, six scales, everything. They're just they just got everything out. Anything that you want to bring out there, they bring. Mm. So we're mm. gonna I'm gonna plan to set up and kind of hang out with them on Sundays uh, on some Sundays. So I'm gonna build up this. I'm basically gonna take the uh, the low C uh, super rock ray and then tr- like build a, uh, a version of Von Gittin Jr.'s uh, U- full size U4 truck. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see, I think I've got the photo here so you can see what it is. Real quick, thank you, Dakery Man, for the $1.99 super chat. Yeah, I, this guy's the only guy that does gives me super chats. I love him. I love him. What's up? Thank and you. I think most uh, most of the time, bashers, they don't want to take time to rebuild their cars and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. So I think it'd be great for you, man. So, yeah. So like, this is basically what it is. So the rock raise on top. And that's then the, nice. Uh, so I got to sort out kind of uh, figure out a Bronco body for that thing. But I'm sure it'd go with something. So what scale is this? It's one. Oh, it is one six. Okay. Yeah. Yep. It's a one I'm, six scale. Let's 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 bring it up properly here. We got the technology here to do these things. So let's go. Um, yeah, but can your internet take it? Yeah. yeah. My, oh no. Should I look it up? eBay. <laughs> that's going to eBay. Not where I want to go. Just send the picture in the group chat, uh, Nick. Yeah. No, no, that's a video. Oh, I'm all over the place. Anyway, I try to be cool. Um, thank you, Dakar man. What's up? Yeah, dudes in the house. Um. Chris Barry wants to know, Wally, do you do any drag car builds? Are you are you doing anything like that? Yes. Yeah, I'll be doing. Yeah, we offer drag car builds. They're not on the website, but if you email us, uh, we'll do like a whole custom build, and that goes pretty much any car, pretty much any car that you don't see on our site. Uh, mm-hmm. It's not that I don't build them; it's just I haven't gotten to put them on, got it into putting them on the site yet. So we pre- we'll build anything. There's nothing that we won't build. I mean, we're working on uh creating 6s and 8s trucks and then we have a slash 4x4 that we're building too so and then i have a i actually i have a dr10 that i'm building too for myself Mm. what body are you gonna put on it i don't know yet Mm. (laughs) but i feel like i have beat you to the drag car thing excuse me (laughs) said i have beat you to the drag car oh yes definitely definitely um and you've been talking about that for like two years it's just it's i talk about a lot of things i was i, I need to get one and just do it and take it to these guys here and show them that we can do this um so yeah hey you i think we're all on board with this but as you guys know this podcast is bought by my, my, 
is brought to you by Manscaped. And you know, it's summertime. And when the sun's out, your bum's out. And hopefully your pubes are not either. Also, it's flip-flop season and it is upon us. And we don't want you showing off those post pandemic Panadem. I I can't. I messed it up. Post pandemic toenails. I messed it up. Ooh. So don't worry. Our friends of Manscaped have you covered. They just launched their fourth generation performance package and shares the 2.0 nail grooming kit. This also comes with the new 4.0 uh, razor. Uh, you know, groomer. That mm -hmm. I think Kevin's got one. I got one. Very nice. My wife's lost I the wireless charger for it though. I'm putting up oh. to find it. So I'm on the 3.0 still, but I did get the. The clippers and oh, yeah. the nail thing. Oh, nice. I didn't get the nail clipper yet. I got a, a, a little compact razor they sent me and some some gel to mm -hmm. shave down below. So you guys, if you guys ain't manscaping, man, you really got to do this because your, your women will love it. And I, they'll love you even more. And, you know, you got to cut through that dongle to find your manhood. And you know what? It makes it look bigger. So thank you to Manscaped <laughs> for sponsoring the podcast. And if you guys want to support Manscaped and pick you guys up a performance package, you can use the promo code no name in all caps and that will save 20 percent off your order and you get free shipping so even thank you to manscape yes and you get that and you get the dialed ball deodorant that works really good too, that too. Yeah, that's, <laughs> it, it's it's weird that we're three boys just talking about <laughs> balls not be all It'd be wet, weird if but, it was a uh, bunch of women in her and we was talking about it but they would use it too my wife really enjoys manscaped products too they she said good. She, all right um okay so we did have a race this past weekend which was really good it's it's really i'm, I'm gonna talk about it more on the podcast i haven't even recorded this week's podcast i gotta get up at 3 30. slack him no it's jq i was waiting for him and then he's like <laughs> i'm at the track i'm at the track i'm at the every track. every time there's an issue it's always jq's fault right and also i wanted rana falk to get back because he's gonna come on and talk about it but he got his his on his flight back he, they canceled his flight in Germany, got stuck in Germany. Something happened, and anywho, he got back a day late. So the podcast will be a little bit late this week, but the International Buggy Challenge, oh my, I geeked out on this this weekend. Um, <laughs> mainly because we haven't seen international, when I say international, European racing to this point. When, and they call it international too because all the different countries, excuse me, but we haven't seen... Uh, Angaro and um, Angaro and Rana Falk and Kanas and all these guys battled it out since I would say DNC 2020 when we last saw, no, DNC 20, yeah, DNC 2020, 2020. 2020. Last time. 2020. Yeah, that the last time these guys got to battle. And then probably just before that was Montpellier. Uh, they raced at Giao Figueiredo's track in Portugal, in Barcelona's Portugal. I believe it was a glue track as well. So they use a mix of like, I know we used to do it here, uh, maybe four gallons to a, a gallon of glue or maybe five gallons to a gallon of glue. And they just, he sprayed the whole track because he, I, I have to say, I know a lot of people complained and said it's, you know, but this is European tracks. They, have, they usually have a permanent footprint and they don't change much. But he sprayed that whole track down and that track stayed in such great condition. Even, you know how they paint, he painted like the red stuff. Well, that mm -hmm. glue stopped that stuff from, you know, how usually that lifts up off tracks from people walking yeah. on it. Uh-uh. It just sealed everything. The track was probably really good by the, by once it got a bunch of rubber down on it, it, it you lose it because that glue, man, that glue gives you so much traction. It makes it hard to drive fast. You got to set up your car. But once the track actually breaks in and gets rubber on it, you got a little bit, of, you still get grip, but you still get a little bit of give and you can set your car up. And I think you can almost run slicks on a, on a track like that. Yeah, it sounds similar to how the RC tracks Las Vegas uh, track was right, right. before, like when they were sealing it. I think they did that for what Silver State, and I yes. think something else. Like a couple of races they did that were right. sealed, and they were running right the uh, super almost slicks, pretty much. But man, what a what a just a beautiful facility. I mean, if you just looked at it. Uh, they had ble they had proper bleachers like on both sides like for, and then like the paddocks and oh man I love European facilities and um, I hope to visit there one day I know RCGP is supposed to be doing a race there hopefully it happens next year and man Angaro like I thought Ronafalk had this in the bag like Ronafalk had um he had some he had some bad qualifying he wasn't good in qualifying and not not typical Ronafalk like not my Viking go out there and and you know pillage people but 
he didn't have a good time in that. He did win Truggy, and I think he came second in E-Buggy. And, I, and he, he dominated his semis. Like, he's got it. He's in Viking mode, Berserker mode. And he was good. And like, in the whole main, he was good to, like, the 30-minute mark. And then, like, the weather changed a little bit. And then his car just went. So he, I, I talked to him. He said his car went soft. And you could see he just fell off. And Angaro was just there. Boop. And just boop. boop. But, mm. oh, my gosh. Angaro was amazing. Um, Kanas was super fast all weekend. It was just good to see these guys race again. And the funny thing is, uh, Kevin, you joined me yesterday. We did a um, early viewing of Driven 3, which RCGP, is coming up, yeah, which is coming up next week. Uh, and it's weird to look, like, that's two years ago. And now you look at these, like, I saw Kanas has got, like, long hair and all this type of stuff now. And, you know, all Playboy-ish and... Everybody I, changed chassis sponsors. That's I know, amazing. yeah, yeah, that's crazy. Like <laughs> Kyle doesn't run Infinity, Lee doesn't run Infinity, and what well, was a great race and good for European racing. They needed that, and I enjoyed it. And hopefully, we get to see some more racing where all these guys get together. A few people didn't go, like the Killich brothers. They couldn't go because of Germany, and I think Boots was actually in the UK and couldn't go. Lefty is fending his Euro heroes. Ah, probably, <laughs> probably. Um, all right so do you think do you think a euro style actually let's talk about that this guy has a question robert parenti do you think a euro style track would be will would be well received here in the states if they no, I, I, go ahead. I i don't agree go go ahead um the guy josh garbit who's s srs i think is doing the races on in virginia he's going to do a race at clemson university indoor i think and he wants to do it Euro style. The, the problem with doing a Euro style track is that Euro style tracks stay like the same all the time. And that's you ha when you put concrete on and cobblestones and all this type of stuff, the footprint of the track has to stay the same for a long time. Right. And, I, and, and I think in America, they, they're so used to just, and that's why the Europeans like to come over too. They like to have different tracks and all that type of stuff, completely different style tracks, in my opinion, even though I think Spain has some of the best tracks right now in Europe. Uh, I, I don't know. I would, I would love to see like different surfaces or something like that, or not, maybe not. So this track didn't have no real big send it jumps, you know? Mm -hmm. So I don't know. I, it, I think people would complain about the footprint, like, like people were complaining about this race where they thought, oh, it's unfair because these guys have practice on this track or, you know, well, the owner of the track, y'all, he didn't win the race. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. He didn't even win the race. So I don't know. What do you think, Kevin? You was about to say something. Yeah. Well, I think it, it was mostly towards like the surface and um, the way they, they have like one track for, yeah, lefty keeps uh, jinxing. I'm gonna uh, stop saying. Gonna stop <laughs> you gotta stop uh, calling out names. Yeah. Like we mostly run oiled tracks now uh, in Eastern Canada because of the weather and and, and everything. Yeah, the off road purists are not gonna say like it's true off road or it it's nice and this and that. But the traction's always the same. Um, when it rains, it doesn't completely destroy the tracks. Um, we don't have the same. Um, community that you guys have out in California where you can just do new layouts every month because it doesn't matter if it costs like five, six, seven K for us, the, the community that we have here and we only have like four months out of the year, we have to try and get the best surface possible. And uh, even so, we still have two layouts within 10 or 12 weeks. So that's still a lot. But obviously <clears throat> having something that is a bit more permanent or a bit more not natural is the best way to, to save some, uh, some trouble to, to try and keep that track together. Cause it, it sucks when the surface is all beat up, you know? Yeah. No, um, I agree with that. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it has their places. I'm not thinking that every track has to be glued like that. Oh, just I know. like, I don't think every track has to be like silver state, just but one off yeah. things like that. I'm cool with. Uh, checkered past Euro style tracks on construction use of oil versus the varying surface. I think the issue, the oil, I'm if we, you guys use oil too, right? Um, Kevin, yes, we do. Okay, so you have you use uh, you use linseed oil or something, right? Or, uh, there's always a special mix, but uh, it's mm -hmm. off of that, yeah. Okay, so the I think the oil kind of has to be permanent, right? Because it kind of has to, not permanent, but 
talking to Zach, like it takes a while for the oil to get mixed up in that dirt and all that type of stuff. And then I don't know, like I, I'm definitely a believer in it for waterproofing the track for definitely up like where you guys live and, and stuff. Mm -hmm. And Zach likes it because it keeps things consistent and tire wear and whatnot. But um, I don't know the oil. Uh, I would love to see it, but I think a track layout would have to be in for more than three months to see the benefits of it. Maybe. Yeah. Cause it, yeah. it is still pretty expensive too to, yeah. to put it on. Yeah. If we ever, mm. if we ever get a track done her, I've already told the guys we need to do oil, 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 oil. Okay. Uh, well, anything else you guys want to add before we go in and talk about the, the race that's, it's actually a few races happening this week, yeah. but the one that everybody's probably talking about is the smallest, uh, the e <laughs> the electric uh, e-buggy nationals. Now, people would, okay, so at, at the moment, we have 41 people, 75 entries in total. But people have to understand this race never, I haven't seen this race have uh, over 100 people at it yet, I don't think. Since hey, I've been following RC. Give me a second. <laughs> let's be honest. Yeah. So those entries are sort of bumped a bit. They have 11 short course trucks and they have a master division and uh, you know, it's... and they have 28 e buggies there, 28 e buggies there. That's how much they have. Damn. That's now. Okay. Now, now, now I haven't, like I said, I haven't seen this race take off. This is probably the lowest I've seen in that, but I, I, I kind of knew that was going to happen. Because I had the same question when I heard it was at uh, SNS. Thank you, Robert Parente, for the for, for this. I almost spoke Spanish to him. I don't know why I was doing that. But um, thank you for the uh, Parente sounded like Spanish. Thank you for the uh, super chat. Greatly appreciate it. Uh, I, I want to have my opinion on this. I think. All right. So have you seen you seen SNS hobbies? It's it's great ten scale track. It's indoors. Mm -hmm. It's it's high bite. I guess it looks high bite. It's great for indoors. I've always thought it's too small for eight scale. You can race eight scale on it, but it's small. It's actually it's like racing. O it's like racing eight scale at OCR. So you can do it, so. but it's not ideal. Yes, yes, yes. And guess what? But that's exactly what I'm gonna point out. Her is that if you really look at this race, it it's pretty stacked. I mean, you got Technoder, Mugen there, uh, Associated, obviously Jackson Bronson, all the guys there, Aiden Horns there. Fend and Cav there, Tasman's there. So, I mean, they've represented a uh, Cole Ogden's there, which I thought, mm -hmm. which I'm surprised because I thought Cole was going up to uh, Barnstormers this weekend to do the Big Apple race. I think it's this weekend. It might be next weekend, but I'm pretty sure it's this Hopefully weekend. Hopefully, doesn't get text for an overcharged battery or something. I, I think they should get this right. <laughs> um, even though, even though I'm still on, I'm still not convinced that they did that to. I don't think they blew up his tank. I think. I think I have, they need to test that. They need to t come out with and, and rebuke that theory right away. But I think it's yeah. possible, but I'm not sold on it right now. I'm not so, I, I hope it is right. And that's another nail in their coffin. But at this point, I don't think it's, we'll see. They need to test it quick. But yeah, oh, D70 said Drake, oh, Drake Clinic was today. So Drake went there, because Cole told me he was going to race. I guess he went to this going, he was going to the Barnstormers race, but he's now at, now there. Yes, I thought they were going to go 40 feet out as well. It, that's what I was told. Lee told me that at the um, at the Nationals because I asked him about this. So I'll be honest with you. Um, I have figured out how much these these tracks get paid by Raw for these races, right? Oh, my God. <laughs> no, it's no, not I even, even figured out. I even figured I heard out it's almost out. nothing. It is. I know. I, I, I know how much it is. You no, know, I know too. I I figured out how much LCRC made from Raw for this race. Uh, these races, these races make their money off the the sponsorship, the T-shirt sales, and doing the, the. That's why they need that day of practice. That that um, you know, that they can charge people for, so they can make some extra money. Uh, but yeah, but let's be honest. What Roar gives doesn't even cover the fuel to redo the track. No, of course not. Of course not. Let, let, let's be honest. You get you're guaranteed fifteen hundred dollars by Roar from Roar. That's, that's what you're that's guaranteed. Not, that's not even enough to buy a new uh, pipe for the track. I know. I know. I know. Mm -hmm. And that's how ridiculous. they make it, the, the most Roar can pay them is, and 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 it's dependent on entries. So if they yeah. get over a certain amount of entries, they get uh, more money. 
right? Over they get an extra thousand dollars. And yeah. then if it's over 190 entries, they get thirty dollars per entry after that. Ooh. Ooh. So big balling from Roar. So basically hosting a Nats will cost you money. Yes. You yeah. can make money off it. But this is this is why I want this is my thing I want to talk about tomorrow. Why more tracks aren't bidding for for Raw Nationals, and I can understand why. You I was in the process for for Canada when I I took a look at the numbers. I'm like, there's no way we're gonna break even. Yeah, I don't I don't even think has is Ryan Styles Harris there? I thought he would be there. I haven't seen him there, but I just been watching Jay Concept stuff. Uh They've moved this E Nationals around to so many places. Like Jason Mechanic says that LCRC had the biggest E Nats turnout so far. I could believe that. I don't know what the answer to this is. Well, for this. I, I, I have an option that we should talk about numbers. So let's take a look at who, like the, the real names that were at the Fuel Nats mm -hmm. and who's at the E Nats right now. It's not people that race sportsmen, it's not no. people that race intermediate. Almost, it's mostly guys that run pro or expert level at like the big races. Dude, so the the hobby dude, level racer will mm -hmm. not show up at these events at all because there's no classes. I there's think no some sportsmen. some do like diehards do. I, don't, I I mean I've seen people that really not trying to be mean, but like don't really have any business being at nationals, but they just go for the fun and they yeah, go and do it nats, for fuel nets, not for not for electric. Yeah. yeah, for feeling that. Yeah. Yeah. I I think I think um I just when this is my, look, for me this to be honest, this is kind of for me. I think the national should be this, the top 20, top 25 and then they race and then you race a a second nationals or you race your regional nationals and you have like a, a national Euro B. No, I think they in like Euro A and Euro B or whatever. Right. That's how they divide it there. So they they have, the, I think that's what they, if the, in, a, in a good world, this would be it. You come here, we watch, we have great coverage. We watch these guys run. We like them, bam, going, you know, and then whoever wins the Euro A, they can be invited to the, I'm oh, sorry, they wins the Nationals B, they can be invited to the Nationals A. But, you know, the rot and everything in Raw goes way deeper than that. Um, trust me, I'm, in, I'm doing my investigation now. I'm reading, I'm actually reading through the bylaws and everything on Raw right now. It's, the long, it's taking me a while. So... I just don't know how we get more people to do this. I, I actually think we should just run e-buggy along like this. Is, in one case, if this is the case, then why not just run e-buggy alongside of the the raw nationals now? I don't know why. Or I, just add an extra day. I think it just should be called eight scale nets. Just you run all the eight scale classes together and you throw your, if you want to really throw the four wheel short course in there, you throw it in with the regular 10 scale And nets. cap it and cap this just race to 150 eight, entries, oh, 100 eight, entries each. Eight scale nats, ten scale nats, done. Yeah. We don't need this small little mini event and call it a Roar Nationals for the the class that really just supports the nitro classes is kind of a time filler. Mm -hmm. At other at most at most races, everyone wants to win nitro buggy. Even like I remember like I don't know what year it was, but uh, I think it was 19, 2019 at Silver State. Spencer came down after winning the e buggy class, and Richard just goes. Well, you won the class that no one really cares about. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not trying to dis. -e I'm not trying to dis. -e but I'm just saying that I don't think they should have a separate event for it. It needs to right. just be an eight scale nats. Like that would just it just makes more sense. Everyone's there anyways. I, I and agree. You, and you, you right. would get and you would get more entries for look, your e buggy the, class. Look, the nationals should be a, a special event. It. I don't care if the the nationals is already. Most people are showing up to the nationals on Monday anyway. You know yeah. what I mean? At at the few, I was there Monday. So Tuesday at the latest, make it a week long like it used to be. And it, it, people will say, well, a whole bunch of people can't go. Well, they can go to the Nationals A. They can go to the Nationals A. I literally heard somebody at the few Nationals ask this 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 time I was there, will they be allowed to go practice on the track after racing's done? Right? And I know that's like a newbie type of thing, but if you're asking questions like that, maybe the Nationals isn't the place for you. I get it. You can come in and check it out and watch it and, and do all that type of stuff. Maybe think about running it, but... You know, like it, it, this is the nationals. Like this is the dream shattering race. Anywho, uh, forty-one people, twenty-eight people. It, it, I feel for the track. I feel for the track in this case because 
I, I can understand why they didn't change the layout either. It looks like they had the layout from a while, for a while now. I think they even had a race this past weekend. Yeah, they but it, it was people that didn't register for the Roar Nats right. that could race their, uh, the race. Got right, it. but they would have they wouldn't have made no money. They would have spent money on a track change, like for nothing, like you know, for, for this. And is this race going to be three, four days? No, like this race can be done tomorrow, really, if they wanted it. It'd to be, be a one day race. I mean, <laughs> like do, I would just say, hey, let's let's work and try and get this race done by Friday, so we can enjoy our weekend in Tampa after this. You know, don't stretch it out for four days. They can basically run two semis. Hey, I would make the semis. Hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think they should they just, just do, do... A, just do a super cross format. You get yeah. open practice, you seed into your times, and then you have two heat races, and then whatever top nine make it to the main, and then that's it. Like just yeah. <laughs> I, look, I, I just do it that way. You have you have a small entry count. Might as well do something different. Look, I'm gonna tell you, e truggy, e truggy right now is growing. Like period. Like if you go to oh, a, a southeast race, you're getting seventy people that are racing that car, seventy entries. There's no class separation on in in the southeast. That I'm not denying that e cars and I'm, I'm I love uh, e buggy is great for newbies. I like e buggy, all this type of stuff. I just get this is my point. When we measure now, see now the the thing is I don't measure the quality of a race by the entry count, right? I know that's the standard that we measure races by. So th this race isn't designed to be for the pro guys. This race is designed to be a high entry count race. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And it's not. It's only 41 people, 75 entries. <laughs> so the, the track only is going to get that $1,500 that Roy promised. And Roy ain't going to make no money either. All right. Um, Charlie Mack, would Roy Nats be more popular if they ran a pro-am style of event? That's a good question. <clears throat> I don't know. Uh, I don't really think so. But I think there should be like a pro series. And an, I, I honestly think the best way to do it is a series. Yeah. Like like, do, like the NNRC Cup. Yeah. Like, or like, an, like how RCGP has, does their thing across all the different countries, as many as mm -hmm. they can, do a national series. And if I think my buddy, my buddy Zach Rogers actually has this national series thing. Yes. Written up and laid out with everything. And, and we're trying, right? I think him and I are going to try and make a push for it coming here in a little bit. And a fantasy it's, too. I remember. Yeah, but it, like, you have your pro class, and I mean, I'm just going to give, like, just the quick idea of it. But you have your pro class that goes east to west, like, there's a full series. And then you have a west coast and an east coast deal for, like, the like the amateur guys. So, one, you're cutting the travel cost for the, like, for the people that just do it for fun. So you're including them, but then also having the pros there that get to do the full series and all that. And then yeah, the way that he added everything's everything works out when if you get all the right people involved. Mm -hmm. So I think if we can make that happen, I think we're gonna make a push for that in the coming years. So yeah, we'll see, it, we we need something. Um, I, I I just don't think I think that most of the e buggy racers are. Are gonna they're gonna go to races where they can choose to run sportsman or or intermediate and pro because and i get that i understand that that's but i mean if you want to be taken if you want e-buggy to be taken serious i know people i get accused of being an e-buggy hater and i'm not i'm just telling people that nitro is still the glory because and if you met like peep the fuel national sells out and even though i don't agree with it how you do it it sells out in five minutes like you know and People go to this and they want to be a part of it. And I want to see the e I want to see the e Nats get bigger because e look, I'm facing. I'm going to tell you, like electric is going to be, is the future, but not right now, not right now. Yeah. All well, right. Well, just that, that people realize that it's the same 10, 15 guys that are going to rate win anyways. So they just don't have that appeal, and it, you won't see a forty-five minute race where Aiden Horn is up Mayfield's ass and. It's going to be a tight race. There's none of that. There's none of that appeal. So you're not going to go there to watch the race or to race it. So there's not mm -hmm. even live RC coverage right now. So well, Jay Concept has had coverage. All right. Yeah. Who are we picking? I'm taking Tyler Jones. Free, free Nats? Yeah. In e buggy. Mayfield. Really? Mayfield. Yeah. Okay. All right. That guy's on a tear. He's just, he, like, he doesn't even have to qualify good. And he somehow finds the win at the end. The dark horse will do it. He can't become the truth, though. He needs to be in Nitro Buggy, not E Buggy. But um, 
We have some look. There's gonna be some good race in here. We got some fast guys here. We got Raging Aiden. We got Lee Setzer's home track. Jackson, Born Horse, Benza, Fend. It's almost time Aiden. to introduce the uh, the segment, huh? Yeah, I think it's almost time to introduce. But you know what? With we gotta that, pay some bills real quick. We gotta pay some bills real quick. And you know what? Uh, there's an affiliate link for this uh, in the in the written description. So thank you to Beach RC for all the support. It was great to hang out with uh, with Brent at the race. And uh, here we go. BeachRC.com, the racer's one-stop online hobby shop. Choose from all the popular brands and variety in stock with super fast shipping and great customer service. BeachRC.com still has the local hobby shop feel with all the benefits of the internet. BeachRC.com is the exclusive distributor for Ultimate Racing, JQ Racing, Pro Circuit Racing Tires, Nitro Lux Fuels, and Assault RC Performance Products. So fill up your cart and check out at BeachRC.com today. All right. Thank you to BeachRC for all the support. Uh, thank you to Brent and Lucas. Uh, BeachRC, brick and mortar hobby shop, doing things right. If you guys can, you wish to support them and the podcast, there's an affiliate link in the written description. Uh, every little bit helps. Thank you. Greatly appreciate it. All right, Kuali. So you came up with this new segment, and then I saw where you got it from, which is great because this yep. whole podcast is pretty much modeled off of that whole podcast anyway. So this is a great addition <laughs> to it. Uh, I'll let you introduce it. All right. So I don't know. Were you not trying to say what the podcast was, or does it matter? Yeah, I don't care. You we, you okay. listen to Pope MX. We people know that. Yeah. Like I, I literally based this whole podcast off Pope, pretty much. Okay. So yeah, like after like the last. I mean, I'd probably say two to three months. I've been listening to the Pulp and Mech show. And recently they've kind of, on and off, they'll do this, the segment called Future Headlines. Mm -hmm. And it's basically like they'll say, uh, like, Tomac flies to the front or mm -hmm. Tomac wads his brains out and is out for the season. What What is the more likely headline to be coming up after the weekend's race? Right. So I thought we could do that same thing with RC, and then with the Nats showing up, I was like, all right, we could try it with this one. Great. So you guys want to try one? Yeah, let's try one. All right, Kevin. You, right. You, I was got. aware, so am I supposed to? So, oh. <laughs> yeah, you go. No, so all, all you got, I, I have them. I have them all here, but mm -hmm. I'm going to ask you. I'm going to ask them to you. Oh, okay, yeah. And all also, right, so, people in the comments, put your, com put your answers in the comments here as well. Yeah, yeah let's debate. So we're gonna call like we're gonna call this one. I think I forgot what we call like Monday's social post or something like that. So mm -hmm. like the Monday recap of the race weekend. So this is what what line would be more. Uh, what would probably happen more? So this one would be Cole Ogden short circuits out of the main, or Cole Ogden shocks the RC community with Enat sweep. Man, Cole Ogden with the sweep would be pretty awesome. Got a techno body going now. He's taking it mm -hmm. uh, sort of seriously. Yeah, let's go with the sweep, man. Oh, the okay. sweep. Do you want my answer? What do you yeah. think? I think he's gonna. I think he's gonna do what Cole Ogden does. Unfortunately, which is uh oh oh, oh. oh no. <laughs> he can be so fast, but he just he gets to a point, and then when he gets like when he starts making those mistakes, he just it's hard for him to come back from him, and then he just blows out. When he's fast, and his one is one is one. Yeah. You know, there's three, but then again, I think there's three races, so uh, we should see. But yeah, should be a little bit a different. Sweep, I don't know about a sweep, but I think he could win one of them, but I think he can also be last in all of them, too. <laughs> but, I, saying, but I don't know, cool. I don't know if Cole has got that chip on that shoulder like he had from the Roar Nats. I don't know if he had one that big for a long time, like what happened. He has history, he. I it would really do good content. I I wish he just rocks it and does really well. All right. Cool. What's up, Joey Showers? How are you? What's up? I see RC in the house. All right, you got the next one, Wally. You want to yep. ask this one? All right. Yep. Roar announces ban on all electronic brands that don't sponsor the nationals, or Roar has a smooth and awesome event. <laughs> <laughs> but already there's been some drama i don't know what it is so so basically right now <laughs> they had motors that pass roar specs but that mm -hmm. fell off the the list because it was too old all the new <laughs> wait, 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 we're not done yet all the new stuff wasn't approved, uh, approved. 
did the companies not send it? What, what, what happened? I'm not so sure. So everybody was scattering to, to find batteries, ESC motors, all that jazz. And after S2, oh, you can run whatever. It's okay. I heard, I heard that weekend. part. This is a national. And they just decided, <laughs> oh, fuck it. Let's go. Too bad. Really? So that's what the drama about the motors. I think I know which company you're talking about too. It's big brands. We're not talking about. Uh, oh, I know. I know. Yeah. I heard about this too. Not so approved. Motors not being approved. Reading the Hobby Wing. Yep. Yeah, I heard a Hobby Wing. I thought it was Hobby Wing. It's, it's the main photo on one of the posts. I think it's yep. the I think live RC post. It's just the big yep. Hobby Wing motor. Mm -mm -mm. Damn it. Wow. All right. So you want my answer? I have a whole di different future headline. What do you I got? Roars. Roars. Uh, roars. This is the headline. Future headline. Roars. Uh, I had it all planned out. Jeez, I'm, I'm trying. This is I quite the rough measure. headline. Uh, the headline <laughs> this is, being, is a very roar like headline. Suspended for not not showing their <laughs> financials since 2016, and some idiot dug it all up and asked where their financials are since 2016. Oh, it's getting personal. No, no. <laughs> I just think that we need to we, we need to change roar, and the only way we can do that is to get people in that committee and doing things differently. Uh, yeah. But they, they don't have no They don't have any financials. Um, I've been looking since 2016, four years ago. Really? Yeah. So Keenan wants to play rugby with uh, Hornets Nest. That's not gonna. That's what it well, sounds like. Hey man, I want. I believe in Raw. I believe in Raw. I just don't believe in what they're doing. And to to be honest, like they had some controversy with the Roar Nat, the Fuel Nats, and right now. With everything that's going on right now, there's too much of a spotlight. Something's going to break. That's my own opinion. Mm -hmm. Something's going to happen because there was a big spotlight. Now it's a complete shit show. Pardon my French. Um, I'm very curious on how this is going to end up. But there's been a lot of pressure right now. And it's not going particularly well. For Raw right now. Yeah. It? Yeah. We got to keep holding their feet to the fire. Mm-hmm. Okay. If you ease up on them, then you they won't get, I want I want tests on the tech, even though I don't think they did anything wrong. I want tests on the tech. I said this already. I'm not going back now. Uh, all right, next one. Cash. All right. Mm -hmm. Want to read it? Yeah. All right, go for uh, it. Because I'm just a big fanboy of this guy. <laughs> Cavalry wins e the e nats or Cavalry battles back to make all three podiums. Cav's going to be on all three podiums for sure. Yeah, I think so with that one. Yeah. I don't know about wins, but I definitely think he'll be on the podium for each car, especially for a short course. <laughs> well, Ven's running that too, and he's Ooh. fast right now. So, you know, so what? Yeah, but he, ha but he has the uh, that uh, the radio system. I think Cav is gonna win e -Troggy. What do you mean really? the radio system? He runs Spectrum. Oh, so you're dissing Spectrum. <laughs> oh, so you think you think the Spectrum is causing his problems too, right, Wally? I do too. Really? I do too. I think the radio is causing that his his fending. I think his yeah, disc it, is very disconnected from it. There's something about that radio. I don't know what it is. Like it'll work. But I've also seen I've heard the same things with Futaba radios. Well, that but it, it's just like it'll just jump out of whack for a second and then be fine. It would explain like why it'll... Fen just hits pipes out of nowhere. You know what I mean? Yeah. And does something every time over and over, and I'm like, what the like in a certain spot, like why would you do that? And speaking of, I know we're going off on a tangent. Look at speaking of radios. Remember, Tebow when he went to Sanwa, he tried Sanwa, and then he's going back to Ko Propo. He's so you. I think that was more of a feel thing for him. What the heck was that? Something fell. You got a ghost? No, probably one of my action figures falling. Oh. Uh, all right, third, hey, the last one. Right now, just uh, a right, last one. Oh, okay. Well, podium right now, S123 is TLR, TLR, TLR. There's no technos, which is pretty surprising. Really? Yeah. What, in e truggy? No, in short course, short bus. Oh, well, the, <laughs> it's like nine entries. But yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Um, I got my last, last one here. Yeah. Here we go. Spencer becomes mechanic for Aiden Horn. Or Spencer leads the charge Enats with Aiden a close second. He 
he, 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 he. Go <laughs> ahead, Kevin. You can answer that one. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I'd go with Spencer leads the charge and Aiden close second. <laughs> Because I'm a big Spencer fan. You guys are not very nice with me, putting me under the bus. Um, but, you know, Spencer has been doing this for a very, very long time. Uh, mm -hmm. Is he tired? Is he what's going on? But for sure, he knows all his stuff. He was really, really unlucky at the NC and at PNB and at Silver State, breaking servos, arms, stuff in warm-ups that you're not really supposed to break. So yeah. is he in a slump? But he's still very, very much there. And I, I feel like this would be a, a good AEJC race because they, they're there all the time. So Mayfield's probably going to do as good. And uh, Raging Aiden is... Uh, oh, I'm a fan. Uh, yeah. Aiden's there. on the move, man. Oh, he's, yeah. If you look at a lot, like, the only reason I came up with that one is because if you look at the last few mm -hmm. races, mm -hmm. Aiden's been doing better than Spencer. In oh. yes, yes, he uh, so. and trust me, I was I was behind the A. I was right, the A. E. Pitts was right behind me the whole time. Mm -hmm. I heard everything, uh, <laughs> it's quite I, loud in there sometimes. No, I just heard like I, 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 I could see where Spencer was frustrated, yeah, you know what I mean, and Aiden was more relaxed and having a good time, and so you could, you could hear Spencer was very frustrated and. You could hear it like and I'm, I've never been around them in the pits like that to hear them before. So I never, never caught on to that. But um, yeah, he was and I get it. You have to have passion. You have to be you have to be you, you get frustrated at yourself. Yeah, but but the level of expectations yeah, for Spencer that. and Aiden is completely different. I get that. But you know mm -hmm. what? Uh, Spencer did the same thing to Cavallari. Yep. The same thing to Cavallari, and exactly, and and if you don't if you don't believe that that's going on in the back of his mind, which he shouldn't be worried about, because Spencer's still good and he's still young and he's going to be fast for a very long time, and he's a two time world champion and a two time national champion. But Aiden is coming, man, and uh, Spencer. These people say Spencer's the ten scale guy. Spencer's won the eight scale nationals two times. Yep, and and he's he's. And he he's been there close second. I want like one of the other times. He's also came third. I think he came third twice this year in some of the big races. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I don't, I don't think he's just that. But um, it, people go in 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 slumps and funks. And you, R C. Here's the thing about R C. There's nothing physically like uh, Kevin. We've had this argument too. There's nothing physically that you can do to get better at R C. Besides practice, I do think you can do some hand high hand high coordinations and stuff like that. Like, do you see what the guy, what the F one guy does with the tennis balls? Have you seen mm -hmm. that? Like, I think that can help for like before you go up on the track. Like, that's more for eye hang. Have you never seen that, Kevin? Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. Yeah. I used to do it as a goalie, so right. I know exactly so, what it is. Exactly. So, but. You can't go in the gym and become a better RC guy. You can't go. You can't go ride a bike and become a better RC guy. You, it's all her, man. It's all her, and you have to get focus her, and then that when that when you focus her, these and these work together. I think yeah. you know. So, good stuff. Good stuff. All right. Um, I think that's it. That's a nice social Monday social post. So we'll get more radical with that as we go yeah. on. I'm probably gonna do this in the normal podcast as well. Good, good one. I like that, Wally. That was it should be. Was it should be the dedicated Wally builds Monday social post. Yeah. That's should, a new segment name. You should yeah. do that. Yeah. All right. Um, anything else we want to talk about? Let me see. I don't really have any more notes after this. Uh, mm, I guess what well, I'm going to open up the phone line, see if we got some calls, and see if you'll take some some viewer questions in the here in the comments. Uh, while I set that up, you guys tend to the you guys can answer some questions in the uh, here in the comments. I'm going to leave. While you guys Wally and, just crushes his beer, I'll uh, jump actually, on the comments. And, Oh Not a my! What is that? Arnold Palmer, Palmer, half and half and half. Uh, Classy guy. There's no beers in the in the shop we, right yeah, now. Yeah, we can so. talk about <laughs> Dustin Evans. This, okay, yeah, good one. Can we talk about Dunson? Because there was a ten yep. race this past weekend. Uh, Colorado. Tim. INS. 
Uh, yes. over at uh, hobby, yeah, action. hobby action. Yeah. And um, Dustin yeah. Evans won it, but Dustin Evans should be winning it because he's a 10 scale guy only. I it's said true. it. But yeah, no, great Dustin, win for him. Great win for him. Yeah. Yeah, Dustin's kind of hit and miss. Like it was there's times where he's like on it and you're like no one can touch him. Mm-hmm. And then there's times where he's like he's there, but he's not just he's just kind of there. Mm-hmm. He's just, been it, putting it, the work it depends. Too. Yeah. He's been putting the work. But it's also crazy because he like where he runs a lot, I mean the track is no bigger than my shop. Mm-hmm. I've heard that. And my it's it's time I've driven there and the driver's stand is literally in the corner. Like if like if you're at so like our rectangle windows here, it's like if we just went right to here. Like oh wait, oh oh camera's all wonky. It's right there's the driver's stand right there. It's just the corner of the track. And the like it is. It's, it's so weird to drive from. It's cool, it's fun, but it's really weird to get used to. Pretty much every jump is either away from you. Or coming towards you, oh. because oh, because you're also like you're not on the width side of it; you're on the shorter side of it. Wow, crazy! Like the, the straightaway goes away from you. <laughs> you know who else is killing it right now too, and doing and doing it very sli- silently? Another AE driver is uh, Cole Tallard. Yep. Yeah. He uh he made the A in four wheel drive, I think, at this race, and he he was good at the nationals, and I got to meet him. Very soft spoken. I'm trying yeah. to get him on the podcast, but he doesn't have good internet. He told me so. Um, you don't either. No, you he say you guys could have a hey, don't jinx pod- it. It's me. He's, <laughs> no, he's just a nice. He seems like a good guy and is trying to make a go at it. Hey, Cole. Um, how are you? How would be yeah, that's how it would be. That's that, how it would be. That would be an interesting. Seven story. hours later, we've gotten our names down. You guys, you guys <laughs> deal with the. You guys talk to the guys in the in the um in the chat, yeah. and I'm gonna get. Call, call set up. I don't think we're gonna get mo- much calls, but let's let's just do it anyway. Yes. All right. I'll be uh, back. Hobby action is Spencer's home track. Yes, that's his indoor track that he runs at. It's uh Ryan Ryan the Mayfield's one too, right? Yep. Yeah. Mayfield goes there too. I don't know if he's the biggest fan of that place as far as track conditions, but uh, he still his, kill, his... he kills it inside. Damn it. How, how did he, I don't I didn't pay attention too much, but how do you do it at the INS? I didn't. I really don't see. remember. I'll, I'll go look it up. Live RC. <clears throat> An hour late, but what's up? What's up, Chris? Uh, back up to the top with uh, Charlie's question about the the ugly truggly bodies. Uh, I don't think they're going to get banned. I think it's going to be just like every other body that comes out, and everyone's going to get used to it, and then forget the old ones. And then at some point, the old the current body is going to look terrible to everybody. It happened before, and I think that's what's going to happen again. As much as we don't want to admit it. <laughs> So Mayfield finished uh, fifth in uh, mod four wheel drive and the seventh in uh, two wheel drive. Yeah, just he. I don't think he enjoys drive racing there. Honestly, and I think he was the only Yokomo guy too. Yeah, because I know, like, I mean, at the uh, Exact RC Challenge, he was in the B main with me <laughs> into a modified. I was like, "What are you doing down here?" But it just like it's. I don't know if he just doesn't like the tire conditions because I know me personally, I hate anytime that I have to run S3 slicks. When people, when the track conditions go to S3 slicks, I don't even want to drive anymore. Like I'll just pack it up and just watch. Grip is too high. It's just inconsistent. It's not, it's not fun. Like it's, that is the only time I will not, I, do, I just don't want to run 10 skill anymore. Like it just kills me because it's like during club racing at OCRC, it's super fun. Everyone's having a great time. It's super easy, but then when the track goes, like someone runs S threes, like you have to run them on slicks. They have to, they have to be like the groove is maybe the width of a car, so you try to pass somebody by just pushing them into the dust. It's it's just not fun. It's, I don't I don't enjoy it. 
And I, I don't know if he has the same feelings, but it just seems like he has the same, like the same struggles. Obviously, yeah. still going faster than I'm going, but the same, <laughs> same level, like same issues we're battling here. Yeah, they they've been moving to Aqua and S threes uh, more and more, and gluing sidewalls and all that jazz. So it's crazy. Hey, what's up, yeah. Adam Ross? Another Canadian guy talking about short boards, short bus. He's running short bus. Huge fan mm-hmm. of short course four wheel drive. Uh, just yeah, that's the other thing too. That's let's never forget the human part about all of this. Uh, let's yeah. not forget Mayfield got a kid two months ago. Yeah, that's definitely definitely a huge part of it as well. Um, did, Wal- did Walker get gray buggy last night? <laughs> He didn't get gray buggied in the main. He broke before I could gray buggy him, but uh, he definitely got gray buggied in the other I'm races. Bug- I'm back. No I'm one back. cares. So <laughs> I was listening to. Um, oh no, that's Ronald Falk. Uh, I was listening to the Truggy debate, right? And mm-hmm. um, I would say that you guys kind of have to accept that 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 is the future of Truggy. Yeah, I don't think Truggies look like trucks anyway before, but truck after. Started- I- Okay, I've, honestly, after I heard that that argument, sir, like, well, how do we know what a truggy looks like? It doesn't really have, it doesn't really exist in real life. So, I mean, it kind of it kind of works. I'm, you know, what? my uh, my opinion on it has changed. I wouldn't mind it. I know it's better. I it's kind of growing on me. Not all of them. Some of them I think are still ugly, but some of them actually look pretty cool. You know which what? which one do you hate the most? I can I say it on the podcast? I don't know if I can. <laughs> you don't like the techno one? I don't like the techno one. Really? It's too, it's too like square. The best. I, I like think the, the JC one looks the best. The Proline like pro one is okay. The uh, Proline pro one's okay. One, the Proline one is the worst. They actually took a buddy, buggy body and they just stretch it. Okay, it does, hold on. It doesn't even go over the shock tower. The, the Kyosho truck body is the worst. Yes. Like that thing yes. is yes. literally a stretched buggy body. Anything <laughs> Kyosho is bad. <laughs> okay. That's my motto. But, but, um, no, I think the JC one honestly is the best at the moment. Sweet, hey, and it uh, kind of has yeah. a little bit. It's square, but it has a little bit of roundness to it. Kind of has a good blend. Not I'm just sponsored by JC. Now, no, I'm not. I'm any joking. I'm not sponsored by anybody right now. Yeah, you aren't, is it? You just do nope. anything. All right, I can do whatever don't tire you I have want. A, don't you have a tire <laughs> logo on your your stuff? Yeah, but we haven't got them yet, so I'm still in gray area. Where are they uh, made? USA or Asia? No idea. Idea. I think it's probably Asia. Cool. Hey, uh, Nothing's Jeff- made in America no more. Yeah. Well, some tires are hot race does. Proline does. Does AKA does. tires? Does AKA, AKA make tires in, in America? Mexico AKA, before? AKA, yeah. I think oh, they're okay. still here. Okay. Hey, um, Jeff uh, Reichel. Reichel? Jeff from Canada. Yes. Uh, thoughts on the Discovery Channel working with the RC drag racing community and where there be a chance we it could evolve into all RC racing. Uh, I wasn't aware the... Uh, I know that was going on. No, I it was, isn't really yet. Not um, yet? Uh, so anyway, as you guys know, Big Big Chief is, is cool with Tim Smith and Colin and... And, you know, well, no purpose was blowing up. I had Colin on the podcast last night, uh, last week, sorry. So, Big Chief's into it. Uh, the three, 13, 20, what is it, 13, 20 guys or something? 13, 20 like, video. Yeah, they're into it. And Big Chief's really into it now. So, yeah. I'm hoping, like, there might be, there's talks, slight rumors, <laughs> like, whispers of possibly, uh, that there's going to be a a something alongside because you know obviously street outlaws and all that stuff which is going to be great but it's going to be awesome for rc uh, it's kind of like what i want for rcgp like you know what i mean yeah uh i i told colin i say like, man slow like throw chief uh one of the docuseries and show him what else is being done in rc so we can see so they can see i mean it can open up doors but right now that no prep stuff so hot it's hot in real life yeah. you know in full scale and Big Chief is, I don't even watch Street Outlaws. I don't know anything about it. I'll probably watch one episode. I know who he is, you know? So mm-hmm. uh, it would be great. It would be great. It would be great. I hope so. Be sure that'd, be, that'd be pretty awesome. It'd be great. All right. You know what? 
uh, we're gonna the open up the phone lines. If you guys want to call, the number is down there in the banner that's going across right there. Let's have some call ins. We're gonna do, we're gonna be real brief. Uh, we have one person waiting for us, and you know what? This uh is brought to you by Techno RC, the company that started all the new Truggy uh body can stuff and just face it guys the truggy bodies are here to stay and uh thank you to techno rc for bringing us the uh nnrc hotline and call in let's we want to talk to you guys thank you techno techno rc techno rc techno rc is a premium manufacturer specializing in eighth and tenth scale high performance off-road rc buggies and trucks Visit www.technorc.com for a complete catalog of their products. Techno RC, excellence in engineering. Hashtag Techno Takeover. Yes, thank you to Techno RC for sponsoring this podcast. They've been a long time sponsoring the podcast. Uh, I appreciate what they do. I was talking to Matt at the, uh, the Nationals, and we was talking about the Truggy body and all that type of stuff. And, um, yeah, it's interesting stuff, what's going on. Uh, Wally, you're enjoying their builds. Uh, I think mm-hmm. I, I people might think I'm being a fanboy or whatever. I was saying this just because they sponsor me, but I honestly think that uh, – Techno has probably one of the biggest, best eight scale teams in America at this point right now. And not just the top guys, I'm talking about the whole team in general. There's uh, a lot of their guys that I are agree not with that. The, the Roar Nats, though. <clears throat> what? Like uh, Seth's not there. Um, yeah. Who's not there? There's a couple uh, of names. I, Born, I saw Born Horses there. there. Wiggins, Wiggins isn't there? Isn't there? Yeah, Wiggins not there. Tebow's not there. Tebow, yeah. Really? Man. Yeah. Tebow is not happy with Raw right now. So he yeah. went to a race and he went to the USRC race that Rob Isaac and, and Lutz and the guys put on up in South Dakota this past weekend. Mm-hmm. What's up, Jasmine Hernandez? Queen of the Streets is coming up. I forgot about that. No, uh, you should call in and talk about it right there real quick, Jasmine. There's the number right there. Um, we got we got a call. Let's go. I know this is a Canadian. So let's see who that let, let's see. Who. Hello. Adam McColton. Hello. Can you hear Hello. us? Hey, what's up? Oh. Yes, sir. How you doing? Man, what's going on? It's been way too long, bud. It is. It's Adam Ross. I've been. Ross. Oh, what's up? It is. Yeah, man. Uh, been out of the game for way too long. Um, went and uh, stuck my family to uh, Quebec. What's up, Kevin? How's it going? Yeah, we finally met um, each other. And found out. Yeah, yeah. I found out how ill prepared I actually was to be back into racing. But uh, we <laughs> good news. Uh, Ontario's opening up. We have our first race this Sunday, mm-hmm. and uh, it's going to be bang, bang, bang in a row. And I just wanted to uh, call you up and say I've still been listening to the podcast. I've still been enjoying it. Uh, I just been a slave to work right now, starting a new position. But uh, I saw Kevin on, and uh, he was awesome in real life. And uh, I'm hoping that Kevin can talk Damien into coming over to the Otter race, the Old Town race coming up. Yeah, of course. Damien unfortunately uh, discovered girls, so uh, right now <laughs> he's into. <laughs> Anyways, don't wanna... that happens. Don't want to throw him uh, under yeah. the bus, but uh, yeah, he's been uh, having fun. You got to bring, uh, you, you got to bring, um, Schufeld to uh, to the Quebec Classic. If I have to pick him up on the way, we will do do that. That's what you got to do. So, Adam, you guys are racing yeah, at. We want some fast guys. It's it's Oton this weekend, right? That's uh that's um what we call it. Uh, no. No, this weekend it's going to be Spark, my home track. Okay. The following weekend is going to be Dor out in Dorchester, and right. then the following weekend after that is going to be O Town. So it's like the big build up all the way there. Mm-hmm. So by the time I get to O Town, I should have my uh, feet back under me and be prepared because going to Quebec was a huge eye opener. My kids were rusty. We haven't raced in a year and a half, and it showed. Like, uh, basically it was so much fun. Don't get me wrong, but I was not able to get a buggy to handle on the high grip surface of that track. Like that was an amazing track that he built. Yeah. Are you going to the Quebec classic? 
That is the plan. Yes, sir. That's I got uh, the time booked off of work. Now all we have to do is put a few more things into place, and we should be uh, there in full force. Good stuff, man. It's good to see you guys racing again, man. I'm happy for the guys in Canada. Um, and also, hey, Nitro Freak, thanks for joining us, man. Have a good night. It's, it's getting late. I didn't realize it was 10.30 for me here, having too much fun. What's up, bro, Akil? <laughs> um, yeah, man, that's good news. You're going to, like I tell Kevin, you guys are, like, putting a lot, condensing a lot of racing in a very short time, but you, that's what you guys have to do. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we're looking forward to seeing these guys again in Quebec. But, uh, yeah, if you can, try and uh, talk them into coming down and putting a whooping on uh, shoe felt if you can. Yeah, probably. I'll try. All right. Okay, man, you guys have a good night. You too. Thank you, Adam, for calling. All right, take care. All right. See you, buddy. Bye. Bye Bye-bye. All right. Um, well, you can call in, Jasmine, uh, right there. There's the number right there. What 424-414-6672. We can talk about Queen of the Streets. That's coming up soon. I know that's your race you're a part of. Uh, we got to talk to Ricardo uh, real quick. We haven't talked to him for a while. Uh-oh. What did I do? Oh, did you delete Co Ricardo? No. Uh, no, my internet's acting up here. Oh, don't blame, no. don't blame the internet. Blames the internet. Actually, he's the wrong button. Hangs up on him. <laughs> Muggy maniac uh, wants. What's up, uh, Muggy? What's up, Kurt? What's going on with my call in her? Uh oh. Anywho, dun, dun, I'm gonna try. Dun, dun. Let's let's take some questions in the chat real quick, and if I can't get this working, then I'm gonna just shut it down for now. Uh, so Queen of the Streets, Jasmine Hernandez. It's an all female. Um, race that they're putting on payout race for no prep and they have like 45 entries so far i think she was i saw her flyer that's I, really yeah like imagine if we had 45 uh girl uh sorry females running off road like that would be so great yeah no that's awesome i know the the no prep man oh wow we got a whole bunch of callers hold on okay uh let's see and none of them's running to work for me too many callers breaking up your internet Mm, something's not right here I'm gonna have, <laughs> uh are you all your wires uh plugged in yeah yeah i don't know what's going on here all right we'll take some questions what is the latest on the mayako what are, i don't know what the latest. The, the people don't ask me about mayako because i don't know i don't yeah i, JQ I mean i i even JQ, <laughs> JQ doesn't trust Keenan with uh secrets no i'm just not I'm, in the discord i'm in the circle anything. and i don't know anything yeah like people, <laughs> I know his testing. That's that's why I have to wake up at three thirty tonight. To mo- and, I, and I have to wake up at three thirty after this and and record with him. I don't. Let me just come out of her and try again. Something's wrong with my. Uh... No, no, it's like my internet on my other laptop. Her. So yeah, I just know that they're coming out in August. That's all I know. Yeah, that's the latest I have too. It's like we'll get the we're, everyone's supposed to. Get, any of the members that have already signed up will have their cars. Um. Probably late August is what I was kind of hearing. Yeah, that means so September. Hopefully, that's yeah, that's kind of what I imagine too. But I'm staying hopeful because I really want to get on the track with the car. So let's be honest, but, though, issues are with uh, overseas transportation right now is a complete mess. It's mm-hmm. it's a mess. Yeah. Also, like you got to understand, I'm trying to do QC virtually, you know how difficult right. that is. Yeah, there's like, there's actually companies that you can pay mm-hmm. for you to check that well it's still i know when i last talked to joseph he was he was at the track today and that's yeah. why we couldn't record today and he has to drive like i think four hours to get to the track every day that's nuts. so he uh i don't know what's up with joseph i'll know tomorrow when i talk to him and we release the podcast all right um what is going on her like I just Muggy, I'm I'm trying. Trust me, I'm trying. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna try. <laughs> Let's go. Let's see if this works. No, it's still not working. Uh, I know what happened. I'm not connected via Skype. It looks like. No, I'm mm. connected. No, I have no idea what's going on. Do you want to log storm? off? Uh, do what you got to do and start it over again. I'm gonna. You have a storm that. over there. I'll be back. No, it's just like it's just not working. That's or maybe they hung up. Um, hold on. Still nothing. Crazy. This has never happened before. I haven't used the software in a minute. Sorry about that, guys. Sorry about that. We'll take some questions right here in the chat for a little while. It looks like 
I can't make any phone calls. Um, I ja Jasmine is sh she's still on hold. I know. I'm gonna try and call her on Facebook and bring her in to talk about her race. Hold on. Your call is important for us. Please stand by. I don't know what's going on. I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> All right. I'm... Uh, oh, something's on. Oh yes, no! I think it's Caitlin you know in the back. Oh. oh, there we go. We got somebody finally. Muggy, I got you. I'll build that thing up for you. Who is this? Hello. What's up? What's up? Can you hear me? Oh, it's Chuck. No, it's Chris. Something's going on. Yeah. Something. It's Chris. What's happening? Why can't I see you on her? What's going on, Gator Man? How you doing? I'm good, buddy. How are y'all doing? Good, man. This is so Pretty weird good. how this is working. It's so weird. I don't know how this is working right now. <laughs> amateurs. I don't know what's going on. My... Is this your is this your first time? No, but my janky little laptop here is acting up. Um what's going on, Chris? Did you go did you go to the E Nats? You was on the fence about it. No, no, I didn't. I had to work. I didn't realize they were going to be starting so early in the week with seating and all that. So Yeah. What's up? What else is going on in Florida RC this weekend? Is there any other races going on? Um, I'll be racing the club race at All Out RC on Saturday. Um, you know, we've been trying to have this race for about three weeks now, but the rain keeps coming. So, hmm. uh, Beyond that, I think maybe Triple Nickel's having a little bit of a, a club race. But that's pretty much it. Uh, Epic RC will be having a club race. Their their usual weekly club race. Okay. So. So it's like it's hopefully it's, no rain. I, I can see why nobody's going to the Enets. Everybody's just going to club racing this weekend. But uh, clubs have got us. I guess everybody's fighting over that that weekend with no rain too. Yeah, that's definitely what's happening for sure, man. People are just dying to get out and drive their cars, and there's a lot of track to spread the love out to. Yeah, Florida's yeah. ram with tracks right now. It's so many tracks there; it's crazy, and they're building more. Crazy. It's pretty crazy how many tracks Flor yeah, Florida but... does actually have. Yeah, it's like they keep popping up, but it mm -hmm. just seems that no matter how many tracks we have, we can't seem to satisfy these racers here, man. You'll never satisfy racers. Yeah, never. racers will always complain. <laughs> they could have the most perfect track in the world. And they'll be like, well, that grass over there is too green. And this dirt's too <laughs> as, this dirt has too much grip. <laughs> but um, you know what? I'm glad you found your mama cat. I saw she went missing for a little while. Yeah, you know how I am with my cats, man. Yeah. I gotta keep them around. Yeah. Make sure they're make sure they're safe, especially midnight. You know what I'm saying? Got, yeah. Everybody's gotta keep their cat safe. Especially in Florida, when you have snakes. Gators. And Gators, gators and gators else, like chupacabras and all that stuff down there i don't think they have those there they've got freaking pythons now. exactly like pythons mixed with boa constrictors to make the ultimate what yeah the python started made in with the boas and now they've made like the super snake and so they got super snakes down there now yeah <laughs> hey in wait Australia. they're gonna get, they're gonna jump on planes in a couple of years yeah, yeah right this is gonna yeah. start traveling to california yeah Oh, good. He sends me. He always sends me pictures and or videos of gators because he cleans pools, and so you get to see him. Like I just, I find it so amazing that people live so close to him. I, I can't believe it. All right, gator man, Not you me, still there? Man. I have a fence that goes all the way. Oh, yeah. but they can climb here, fences buddy. now, right? I heard gators can climb fences. Yeah. <laughs> what? Really? If they can get over my fence, they're welcome to come over and join the barbecue. Wow, that's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. Wow. Well, man. <laughs> Did you did you have a question for Wally anybody before we sign out here? Because I think we're gonna be closing up her in a minute anyway. Yeah. No, I was just actually playing around about the people not being satisfied, man. I tell you what, it was just <laughs> just killing me about hey, we've had so many good tracks and so many good races, but online all I see is we're complaining that we don't have enough races, the prizes aren't good enough, the track's too smooth, it's too bumpy. Oh, mm -hmm. that, that, I just wanted to get that off my chest. Hey, I feel you, man. But you know what? Yep. Most of the guys are complaining, are sitting on their ass, being spoon fed. They're not doing anything to change a hobby. So at some point, you got to try and 
that, that's that's something I've been dealing with a lot recently. You know what? You got to try and uh, not listen to that uh, that BS because they're not doing anything to change it. So do what you can, and that's it. Yep. Yeah. Be the Absolutely, one. Absolutely, man. Well, thanks for taking the call. Yeah, man. Be the one positive light through all the bullshit. Even though yep. we, we we talk a lot of shit on this podcast and complain, we try to offer solutions. But I, you know what, man? You could be like me. I don't even have a track on her. I'm trying to I'm trying to start motivating the guys now to build start the track for in like when the summer's over. And I would love to have a track right now. So I think I, I tell my American friends a lot. I say you guys are so fortunate. You guys don't understand how fortunate you are with RC. I have to drive two hours. I said. That's all right. I drive two hours to go to a track. I drive three. Oh, I, I, I glad I gladly drive two and a half hours to Channel Islands over an hour to Revelation. Yeah, I will too. <laughs> I would go to uh, Channel Islands. Not saying nothing about that Rev. I would, so love, awesome. I would love to have Rev, even if I had Revelation. Yeah. Right. I mean, it's so convenient. But you know, I to love to, but uh, Channel Islands is next level. It's not. Yeah. It's not even like that. It's like the the, Melissa, faci- like the facility yes. is like extra nice. It's just the whole thing together is awesome oh i know i love it up there and they have great street tacos not too far away yes uh, they do all right chris well thank you for your time and thank you for the support i'm glad you got your cats back and um just keep racing man you was doing a lot of rc for a minute so you needed to take a little break anyway yeah yeah i'm, I'm living a good life i'm not complaining man and i appreciate you guys taking my call and uh everybody have a good night man i'll see you guys later all right thank you dude. that's good all right yeah. let me try let me try and fix this i probably ain't uh, melissa Cantu. that's mark's wife what's up they um mark sends maria okay there we go we got we got it actually he's on a call right now let's let's t- talk to him i hope this works yo what's up we got a celebrity in the house a youtube a genuine youtube celebrity a real one what's up mark? oh man What's up, man? How's it going? How you doing, man? I'm doing good. I'm actually on my way to a, a race in Treeport, and I just found out it was canceled for rain. Oh, no. That sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. <laughs> I saw you guys were heading out in the uh, RV. Uh, no, camper. Sorry. Um, I was wondering yep, if you guys yep. are going to race or just going on vacation. Uh, I, I haven't watched your video about your 4th of July parade yet. I haven't, I haven't watched Do it. it. I've just been busy. Uh, but congratulations on that. I, I know it was oh, yeah. a big thing for you as well. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It was huge, man. Seeing the people's faces with our secret. It's crazy how many people have no idea that this community even exists. I know. I know. So, it's awesome, man. Yeah, so that, that was uh, one. It, it was emotional just watching what you did. Uh, so good job, man. Thank you, sir. Yeah, it was uh even when I watch it now, when I, when I rewatch it, I still kind of tear up a little bit. It's, it's just crazy how far uh, we've gone in regards to promoting the hobby in our area. Yeah. It, it meant a lot to me, mm. that's for sure. So, if you're not going to you're not going to Shreveport, where are you guys going to go? <clears throat> I don't. I, we might go to Shreveport anyways. Mm-hmm. We don't, we've already have all like the uh, the plans already to go out there, so we're not sure what we're going to do. I really wanted to race this weekend, though. I'm yeah. bad. You just yeah. go right down to Tampa. It's not. It's probably like another ten hours, and go to the E Nets. No, by the time you get there, it'll probably be over. How about Tyler Jones taking that TQ at uh, E Buggy? Huh? Oh yeah, yeah. I, I already picked him. Don't worry, I picked the Dark Horse. I'm going yeah, techno for the E Nets. We we all know what happens when you pick someone, uh, Keenan. I know, I know. I it jinx goes, everybody. It ends badly. <laughs> I jinx everybody. What's next for you, man? Um, you should have, have picked Cav or something. I do pick Cav, and then he, <laughs> he, he loses. I pick Fend every time, and he fends himself. Uh, are you what? How many subs are you at now? Have you hit 70 yet? Oh, man, I'm really close. I think I'm at like 66, 66 and a half or something like that. Okay. Um, but the other, we, we started another channel because we're doing a lot of traveling. Mm-hmm. So we're... We're basically capturing everything that we're doing. I like to try to show like all the different places we see, but I don't want to put that on my RC channel. Right. Um, so there's going to be a lot more videos coming, but it will be coming from my own channel. Also. But I'll still be spitting out the, the RC stuff nonstop because that's what I like to do anyway. Sweet. So what are you? What are you enjoying? You're doing a lot of racing now. 
Well, what are you geeking out on right now, uh, RC wise? Oh man, I'm I'm a big into the crawling thing, dude. Really? Like I'm <laughs> really geeking out on the crawling. Now that Melissa it got a crawler too, I'm mm-hmm. I'm really wanting to go crawling all the time. Oh. Yeah, that's good. Uh, I like the crawling stuff too. <clears throat> I got I just ordered some parts for my element. Axial Fest was what two weeks ago? I want to say. I haven't heard anything about it, but really? <clears throat> yeah, it's strange you didn't hear anything about Axial Fest because it's usually the biggest event. Uh, I know so, that Proline by the Fire is happening still. Like, that's oh yeah, happening that's later this year. So what are you crawling? The Traxxas, the new Bronco? Oh, yeah. I, so I have almost, I think I have all the TRX4. <laughs> um, but I, I just like to crawl the... Uh, a TRX Four Sport, I just think it looks good. Yeah, it's probably the best one, lower center of gravity. The TRXs are really good. I got mine. I haven't broken anything on it yet. And my son drives it, and my mate drives it, and they bash the crap out of it, and it's going <laughs> strong. So, <clears throat> do your uh, do your sons uh, crawl? I did, it's um, not... I did talk to someone uh, kind of big in the game in RC today on the phone, uh, Mr. Dave Lycom. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. he. Yeah, he. Um, so apparently they reopened the Southern Nats, uh, the Southern Nats signups. The Southern Nats sold out in like an hour. It wasn't sold yeah. out like people signed up. It mm-hmm. sold out like people paid and signed up. Right. So that's that's insane. So they opened it back up for I guess the filler heat mm-hmm. um, tonight. Uh, they're probably already. Oh, it's the fifteenth. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm excited about that race. You going to that one? I want to. I that was one of my favorite races that I attended. Uh, was that one? It's a great location. Air conditioning in the pits. You know, you ain't, you ain't getting bombarded by nitro smoke in your pits and the noise and all that type of stuff. <clears throat> you can the hotels literally across the street. Right. It's one of the best indoor races that I've been to. I still, uh, I still owe you a margarita through that drive through margarita place. I was, we were supposed to slam one of those last time. And I didn't <laughs> I know. I don't drink now, so it's a good. Uh, them things were sweet, though. <laughs> Oof, they were like this. Oh. They were like that big. I got one. I drank the one, and I was like, oh. Machine. Yeah, they had a uh, drive through daiquiri shop. Really? Yeah. So we had to go down there and get a What state is this in? In Louisiana. Monroe. It's mm. Monroe, right? Yeah. Monroe. Cool, yeah. man. Monroe. Uh, when is your next video dropping then? Today? Or did it drop tomorrow? Because you do it on Fridays, right? We had. I have one drop tomorrow. Okay. Um, I, I have one dropping soon on the... Uh, I got one of those Racecraft, those Racecraft command modules. Okay. Mm-hmm. One of those? Yes. Yep. Have you... Yeah, dude, those things are awesome, dude. So I got one of, I got one of those, so I'm reviewing one of those. You should and wrap then, it. Um, yeah, I got what light did... What light did you go with? Dude, I need a, who who makes wraps for it? Bipolar Designs, I think. What? Bipolar Designs is wrapping them, I think. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh man, I totally need to wrap for mine. Mhm. Why are you asking what light did he get for it? Yeah, what light did you end up going with? Or did you go with, get one yet? I don't have one yet. I've, I'm still, I'm still using the uh, Protec pit lamp in there, but I need to mm-hmm. get the light. Which one do you recommend? Uh, I just went to Home Depot and just got one like the little three foot ones. I, I had the, um, I there was one on like Amazon, they're little battery powered ones <clears throat> and they lasted pretty long, but like after a while, it's just like, it's, it's just not bright enough, but yeah, anything from Home Depot, I think a little three foot guy from oh, Home Depot is perfect. Yeah. I need to go, I need to go pick one of those up. That's the next thing I need to do, but mm-hmm. yeah, I mean, I love it. I got the little, the little mini module too. I think that's yep. pretty cool. <laughs> That's my. That's the one I take to OCR. I take that one to OCRC every time I go race there, just because like you don't really need it. Need the big one at at uh, OC because it's just kind of. I mean, you already have light and everything there, but like it, that thing's perfect to hold your charger. You put your wash state like a little wash station underneath it, like make it just declutters your pit a lot. So yeah, and it, I enjoy that one. It's, it's so small. It's so small, but it seems like it has, it does so much for your pit area. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I use it a lot. I've, I've been using it since I've got it. I have it on my desk, and it's like I don't even want to take it off my work desk. And take right. It <laughs> so, well, Lefty man, this is awesome, dude. Thank um, you for I calling did, in. I've never done the call in thing. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Thank- Melissa saw it, and she's like, "You got to call in." I was like, "I'll call in." So, yeah, this is cool, <laughs> man. I'm like actually impressed. I, I, uh, 
I, I've never done this before. I might have to ask you how I, I can do it on my on my show. Also. Yeah, I'll show you how to do it. It's pretty easy. It's pretty easy. I was just my janky laptop was acting up, and um, janky uh, Wi-Fi. Yeah, but thank you for calling in, man. Keep up the good work. Uh, I need to go watch hey, it. No problem, man. We need to get you on the podcast again too, because I disagree with your rules. I did watch a raw video. I I don't. I do think we still need race rules. Uh, we need races with rules and tech and all that stuff. But I understand how the new guy could be hurt, could be put off by that. But um, yeah, man, keep yeah. Up, keep up the good work. Uh, yeah, they had, they already had drama already at the Enats, so yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> of, course we, we, of course anywhere that there's raw involved it's going to be drama so uh man you're doing a great right. job for the rc community uh brand, Thanks, man. bridging that gap between bashers and 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 whatnot um i was just telling wally he's got a well, he's going to start doing some more bashing based video uh mm -hmm. builds and stuff like that and hanging out with bashers as well over there in the west coast so yeah we all need to work together and do this together yeah, and man. just keep pushing what we're doing so people can see it. Like you said, so many people don't even know what we're doing. Yep. Exactly. It's crazy. Cool. Well, safe right, travels. Man, well, for having me on, dude. Thank I'll, you for I'll calling in. Soon. All right. All right, man. Well, take it easy, bud. Okay, bye-bye. All right, you too. Cheers. Bye. Man, All right, that was Mark he's... Santa Maria. Thank you, Melissa. What's up, Spencer Klein? How you doing, buddy? He's doing some really cool things, man. He is. Mm -hmm. We have two more calls we're going to take real quick, and I think that's it for the night because I'm going to get <laughs> and get some sleep. <laughs> you got to uh, hear a little power nap. <laughs> yeah, that's all it's going to be. Uh, Wifey's it's, sleeping upstairs, so I can't yell too much. <laughs> it's acting up again. What is going on her? What's up, Kyle? How you doing? Spencer. Spencer Klein, one at Shores. Uh, this is acting up again. You know what? I'm just, that's it. No more phone calls. Sorry, guys. Whoever's was calling. What's up, Corey Jordan? I see you're calling, man, but something's going on here. Where I can't. Uh, yeah, you hear me? Oh, there we go. Yeah, you hear me? There you go, Corey. How you doing, man? What's up? Man, everything's good, man. I um just really just got done doing a I saw that you done a live appreciation night, like, man. Just yeah, man. I just give giving back a little bit, man, for everybody that been um, you know, kept me out these last couple of years doing my get my YouTube up and going and stuff like that. So we did a little, did yeah, a little giveaway to my, to my fellows and stuff. To yeah. My you, family, man. You've been, do, you've been getting better and better at your, yeah. your lives. Each one. I really enjoyed the one with Roger the other day. And, um, yeah, just keep it up, man. I, I'm glad you got hit. You, I, you got on the stream yard and you're using it. You're loving it. I know it's a great program. Yeah, man. Just, yeah. Just, just trying to, um, just trying to do something different. Like I said, trying to get some new people in the, yep. in the hobby, man, and in the game. You know what I'm saying? Just just show everybody that, you know, we all just, we, we connected by this thing called RC. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's all good. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, and if you guys want to go hit up and sub to his channel, EK, EKJ24000. I got it right. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah go hit it. On, you, on YouTube, yeah, that's yep. it. Go hit that sub button and a notification button. Uh, he's had some good interviews. Had me on there. I talked too much. Had Joseph on there. Um, Didn't and talk enough. Yeah, I was gonna say. Actually, I came on with Joseph little. too. I think. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, I had I had um, you know, sad is sad to see that you know we lost Rex Welch, but I did an interview with Rex. Yeah, you, know, you did too, too. You know, so I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. So. Yeah. Good stuff. But yeah. So what's been, what's been going on tonight? What, what y'all been talking about? Everything. Roar. That's what we've been talking about. Roar. No, I'm Pretty much Roar. Well, okay, okay. <laughs> no, I'm just been on a tangent with Roar tonight. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, we've been talking about the E-Nats, just catching up. It's been a good It's been a good one. We've been going for a while. I'm going to get up at in like four hours to record again. Um so it's all good man but i'm i did i was like oh man i see Corey's going live and i'm going live i was like man i kind of didn't want to conflict with you but um uh no, it's all, it, hey ain't no thing right Everybody gotta do what they gotta do so yeah i gotta do what they gotta do so it's, it's okay it's all yeah. good all right man but yeah well but yeah man okay i appreciate it man like i, I said, appreciate your I mean, call that your episode 77 year with Miguel, man, that was crazy, man. Cause he, I know. I, I yes, yes, because, right. So there, here's the thing. I forgot about that. So Corey hit me up. He's like, Keenan, go listen to, 
episode 77, Miguel Petit Matias, and he talks about the the fuel tanks oh, and his God. opinion yeah. on it. And this was two years, this was almost in 2019 when he said this. Oh, you're right. And I didn't even, what I forgot did all say? about it. Yeah. And then um, Corey was listening to it while he was driving, working, and he goes, you gotta go listen to yeah, it and tell you he said yeah. it. And that, I thank you for that. Um, so that's why I'm saying Sorry. I need to, Ron needs to test this now and see if this yeah. is a thing. Because you have Me people too. talking about this for a few years now. Right. And Matias said it. He said it word for word, how everything yep. went down at Royal or there at LCRC. He did. This past um, mm-hmm. Nats. He said it word for word. And this and if it happened at the Nats, this last go wrong at the Nats, it happened just like how he described it. Yeah, like that episode it did. Of 77, man. It and did. I I'm blown away. I was like, what? He said it because it makes you think about all the past people that mm-hmm. got disqualified over the same thing on the same day, on the last day of the event. He said the same thing on the last yeah. day. It always happened. Mm-hmm. So, they need to test this. They need to so test yeah, this uh, fuel need- tank theory right away. They need to do it. Um, so thanks for hitting me to that. Thanks for for pointing that out. I'm I'm just glad there's people out there listening like that. Like I forgot you. I get talking to so many people. I can't remember everything. And then when I heard it, I was like, I remember this. Like you know. So um, thank yeah, you, man. Like, ain't no problem, man. Like I said, that's what we're here for. Like I said, reason that I went back and listened to it, man. I, you know, be at work and I'm trying to pass the day. You know what I'm saying? Get through my day. So right. I'll be trying. To Playing old episodes and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Old episodes of podcasts and stuff. So I ran across that and I was like, man. He said, that was actually a good interview with Miguel. You know he he was man, very candid and he was he he just spoke his mind. Episode 77, it was a great interview. Miguel right. Matias was a great, great interview. A great talk yeah. with him. Yeah. Cool, Corey. We got one more call up. Yeah. We're going to take that and then we're done for the night, I think, because I'm going to go get some supper. Wally looks tired. Mm-hmm. Kevin's tired. Hey, yep. remember, go day. hit him up. Yeah. YouTube, EKJ24000. Let's get him up to 500 subs. RC Just says he's going to do a JQ Black car giveaway when you got 500 subs. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. Sitting up here pretty, too. Yeah, man. Out in the red, um, with all the red, yeah, with the red little washers and stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, speaking of that, mm. I was so pumped to get the red kit for my car. And I didn't know that it was for like the yellow edition and the shock collars. Don't oh, I fit. know. Yeah, yeah, I know. Oh, so bummed. I know. <laughs> <clears throat> hey, well, check and yeah. pass. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah. Thank, you. Yeah. thank you, Corey. And yeah. hit that sub button for him, people. Keep up oh, the good my. work, Corey. <laughs> I appreciate it, y'all. Y'all have a good night, man. I appreciate it. All right. All right. Take care, thank man. Bye bye. Yeah, have a good night. I'll talk to y'all later. All, All right. right. Sounds yeah. good. Oh man, I don't know what's going on. This hey, yeah. check your pass. Go check out the No Name RC podcast now. We don't deal with conspiracies, but we we definitely shake the hornet's nest. I'm trying to get to this next call, and I think that's the last one. It's from Canada. Hello. Hello. Hey, what's up? Not much, you. Oh, what's up, Colton? How you doing? Good, you. I'm good, man. Just chilling. We're winding on her. Well, are you are you are you racing this weekend? Are you going to uh, with Adam Ross this weekend? No, I'm going to Bego this weekend. Ooh, oh. to the to the eight scale track. Yeah. Good. Are you ready? Got, you got your cars ready. So is it a club race this weekend, there? Yeah. Okay. How many entries do you think you're going to get this uh, weekend, yeah. Kevin or uh, Colton? Oh, well, it depends, because. <laughs> we're having pretty big uh, weather issues. It's been raining every time we're racing. So right now the rain is not supposed to happen. So right now I think we're at one one ten. Hopefully we should be around 140, 150, hopefully uh, depending on the weather. That's good. That's decent. Yeah. All, what classes uh, are you going to run, Colton? Nitro and an e-buggy. All right. Good stuff. There you go. Good stuff. That's pretty. And then use the same tires. Don't have to get truggy tires and all that type of stuff. All right. Good stuff. Uh, hey. what, what's your next race after that? Are you gonna Are you gonna do the correct classic as well? I would assume. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I got a week off, and then it's Otterville Nitro Blast. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I love it. Canadian racing is back. 
Canadian yeah. racing is back. Good to see. Good to see. Do you have a question? I really for... want to make it up to the Otter Otterville track. It looks. I, nice follow, I follow the the group page and I yeah. see all the posts in there, and it, that track looks awesome. Like a super crossy type of track. The Bender yeah. track is really nice too. Yeah, that really nice. that track is pretty cool too. And you know, Bego, we always have a good time usually. Yeah, yep. I heard the story as well. Bego, Bego is always fun to hang out with. <laughs> uh, Colton, do you have a question for Wally uh, before we we sign out here? No, not really. Just All right. figured I'd check in on everybody. Well, we appreciate. I appreciate Sounds you good. calling, man. Have fun this weekend. You're gonna be hanging out with Kevin, and um, yeah, just just have fun, like. It's great to see you guys getting together and getting to go racing, you know? After Come and say hi, party. man. Hello? Hello? Oh, okay. Hello. There. Oh, there you are. You went quiet for a while. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. You have a good one. Mm. Good luck with your racing, and thank you for calling in, man. I appreciate the support. You too. Have a good night. All right. Bye-bye. All right. Cheers. Bye. All right. Bye. I think that's it for tonight, guys. Um, uh, thank you, everybody, for tuning in with us for our 45 minutes. I'm enjoying these lives. Thank you for the people that put the super mm -hmm. chats. Thank you to Wally and Kevin for their time as well. I see Kevin's like, oh, he's, he's out, he's out. He's almost going <laughs> to sleep. I'm tired. Right. Um, Muggy, Indeed. hey, Keenan, can you get me a first 500? I don't even know if there's any left. I got a chassis here, but it's on my white, my all white car. Um, I could probably get your old chassis and sign it for you. I got Thank a couple chassis, for, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> you can't even see the first 500 on them. They've been worn out. Thank you, everybody. Hope to see you guys. New track. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Real quick. So, w Wally, real quick. What do you know about the new uh, Joe's track at Paris? When is that opening? It's opening soon. Not right? enough. Uh, the the opening race is the 31st. Okay. Um, But that's as far as I know right now. But I believe it's where DNC was in 2019. So the square, smaller spot. Not yeah. the rodeo. Okay, 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 okay. Gotcha. I think so. Okay. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I think so. Why? Why is he getting a permanent track? Because he wants to host most more races, or I think he just wants to be able to have. Well, he probably just wants to have a track. But also, because he had one before. He had one way back yeah, called Hemet. The Dirt. Mm -hmm. Yep, in Hammett. Yeah. And then, uh, honestly, I think it's just so he has a place to put the DNC and he's going to search for places every time he wants to do it. I think Aaron's going to run it. I think someone said that, too. And I know that Cody Thompson is going to be the hobby shop on site. Oh, okay. Because mm -hmm. wasn't Cody supposed to do a whole facility there? And I guess, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I oh. think what's ha I don't know. I don't know if, it, if this is 100% true, but I think... <laughs> the track at his house is kind of going away mm. and then he's just gonna and then it cuts close enough to his house where he's just gonna w do the the ctrc thing from uh joey's new track okay cool all right mm -hmm. um yeah it'd be interesting to see what he comes up with there with some more yeah. time and and whatnot but the track that he made there for 2019 was rushed so yeah you know, because it had to be put there because of the rain so it should be good to see uh, I'm looking joke. I was talking to JQ. He's talking about DNC already. That's how excited he is. Oh, I'm wow. All right, well, DNC next year. I'm like, yeah, if you know, so uh, it should be good. Thank you, Kevin, for your time. Thank you, Wally, for your time. Thank you, everybody that joined us. Uh, thank you to all the sponsors of the podcast Mayako Beach RC, High Tech RC, Techno RC, Sun City RC, Raceway, Lugs Racing Tires, Manscaped.com, Papa Willie's Traction Tonic, Racecraft USA, House of RC, Wally Builds, and JQ Threads. Shout out to uh, uh, Bego and those guys up there doing their thing. Kevin, I see you super active. Uh, I see you got a new drone too, uh, doing some good things for the French community up there. Thank you, D70. Wally, keep up, keep on the grind. We're going to do this again. Yep. My birthday is on a Thursday in two weeks, so we might do a show on that Thursday. Hey, when's your, what's your birthday? 29th. Oh, uh, the 25th. You're almost great. Almost great, Wally. Almost oh. great. I beat you to the greatness is how I look at it. No, I don't think. Just, <laughs> lefty. Just lefty was, the but great. you're still a Leo, right? You're, you still fall under Leo, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. absolutely. Yeah. All right. Alicia in July. Not as great as yep. me, but Alicia in July. And yeah, Leo. All right. All right. All right. Well, well, that's debatable, but we'll, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God.
my gosh. What a great, so, show, great show. Wait, great wait, show. Wait. Who's the greatest disappointment? Me. Apparently, that's what my mate calls me. Matthew, the great disappointment. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Mike Hill, the wet blanket. That's what I call him. Um, he'll, he'll douse any passion that you have, any flames. All right, guys. Hey, Nitro is the glory. E buggy pays the bills. If you ain't grinding, you're sliding. Lefty, Kevin, Wally, everybody, we are out. Enjoy the rest of the show. Podcast is dropping tomorrow. And yeah, see you later. Have a good evening. Sorry. Thank you for listening to the No Name RC Podcast. We greatly appreciate all the support and love from you, the listeners. Without all of you, none of this is possible. Special thanks to our patrons on Patreon. If you wish to support the podcast further, you can at patreon.com forward slash NNRC Podcast. As a patron, you will receive early releases, special content, and patron only giveaways also please follow us on facebook instagram and our website www.nnrcpodcast.com remember nitro is the glory but e-buggy pays the bills if you aren't having fun it doesn't make sense and if you ain't grinding you're sliding lefty out Nitro is the glory, Nitro is the glory, Nitro is the glory. so bad. <laughs>